Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today it's Monday, March 23rd of 2020, and it is uh, almost uh, 5 p.m. So I made this uh, video yesterday. Will the Democrats and the, let's see. I thought I made one after, let's see. I guess that's the one. Will the Democrats and the Republicans reach a deal? Made that yesterday, only 28 views. <laughs> um, heck, I made a, a video a couple of days ago, it's only got 34 views. Um, anyway, in the video that I made yesterday, I talked about the fact that the Republicans were the Senate was trying to push through their bill to help business and workers and everybody else. <clears throat> but apparently, the part for business, uh, they tried to keep that as much as they could away from the Democrats, not giving them a chance to see it. And then at the last moment, you know, here it is, we need to vote. And the Democrats voted, you know, no. Uh, because the Democrats didn't like that part. And because they really didn't have it, it was just sprung on them. There was no... So, uh, I said in my video yesterday that I thought today, Monday, that when the stock market started with no agreement that I thought that the stock market would just, you know, just crash major big time. I thought it'd be a real disaster. Well, it was down. Let's see. Let's go to, uh, go over here and go to CNN. Do, do, do. And, uh, let's see. Let's go to business. And as you can see, the stock market ended at 3% loss. And headline says, stock slide again. Market, markets end lower. Uh, so on. But it wasn't the major... Oh, then, after I made that video last yesterday, and then the... Uh, McConnell, Republican leader of the Senate, said, okay, you know, the Democrats voted, you know, this thing. Actually, they're not voting the thing down with some type of procedural thing that was a vote needed to be taken to proceed or whatever, and the, the uh, Democrats voted no. But anyway, so Mitch McConnell says, okay, well, the stock market opens at uh, such and such a time in the morning tomorrow. Fifteen minutes after it opens, we're going to call for this vote again. And uh, you can just, the Democrats can just vote no to help people, you know, and whatever. And uh, the Democrats said, okay, fine. And so I added to my, not in the video, but I added underneath my, my, uh, Thing, that information, you know, and I said, and that's going to be hard for the Democrats, but it's not going to help the stock market. It's going to be, you know, bad. So anyway, uh, McConnell decided to, uh, no, okay, you know, later in the morning or whatever. Uh, no, we're not going to have that vote. Uh, uh, we'll have the vote just, I think, just before the stock market closed or right at, you know, at the time or right after the stock market closed. So they had to vote again and the Democrats voted the same way. No. But what was surprising was, um, and I didn't read all the details about it, but apparently President Trump said, uh, I'll work with uh, Pelosi, Pelosi, the uh, Speaker of the House, I'll work with her with the Democratic bill. Now, that was a shocker. Now, I don't know what he said after that, 
because he, you know. But so the stock market was down, I think, like, what, 3% here. And I thought it would be a lot worse. I think that everybody knows, okay, the Congress is going to come out with a relief. Or they already passed one relief package. And I, a big one, you know. But this is another one. And maybe what the Democrats should try to do, which would be kind of like, you know, maybe the, the Democrats should just say, okay, we're, here's the package to help people who need relief because they're unemployed for small businesses. Here's the relief, all this kind of stuff. And for uh, all this relief type thing for people, here's the bill. We'll vote on that. And the part that the Republicans and the Democrats actually wanted to help business also. But not the way the Republicans want to. And that's why there was a problem. But maybe what the Democrats should try to do is just say, okay, well, we'll pass the uh, thing to help with uh, people who are unemployed, people who uh, have to... Uh, you know, sign up for uh, unemployment insurance. They should get it instead of three-fourths of their pay or whatever it is, I don't know. You know, they should get 100% of their pay and unlimited and all this type, you know, all this type of stuff. Maybe the Democrats should just say, okay, here's our. Now, you know, then say to McConnell at the Senate, now, okay, if you have that thing that you want to help big businesses, okay, Send it over. We'll take a look at it. I think the problem is if, if and they haven't come out a lot with explaining it. Uh, I, I think the problem is that the Republicans want to help, of course, big business. And I'm sure there's some smaller businesses in there, too, that are not in the other pack, you know. But they want to help the big businesses. But they want no controls on, you know, they're not... Uh, they're not going to say to well you can't you can't use the money that you get to buy back your own stock that's just putting money in there you know that's just increasing their you know the value and not helping workers or any, the economy or anything else also i think that uh, the democrats want things in there that are like okay you have to, you know, you're getting money from us. We're bailing you out. We're saving you. So you have to take care of your workers in some way. You have to do this, some type of thing. I think uh, Elizabeth Warren or whatever, she had a a thing that she, you know, that she said, which, man, nailed it. Ding, 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 every, you know, everything. Uh, you have to hire back, you know, 80%, at least 80% of your, you know, Things like that. And the Republicans, you know, just want to give them the money. So I'm sure that this is going to be worked out. I think the, I think the Republicans just need to, you know, because in the past when this type of stuff has happened, you know, we've given money to banks who caused the thing during Bush's administration. We gave them tons of money, bailed them out. They would have gone down the drain. We helped out stock, you know, Merle Lynch, Pierce, Finner, and Smith, and all these stock companies and all these things. We helped them out. And they took all this money in. And then they uh, gave the money as millions of dollars to the CEOs and the assistant CEOs and the different, you know, people on the boards and all that type of stuff. And they just did everything like that. And then, of course, also they, they said, okay, you know, they, they agreed. There was some other stuff, too, that was really. But then they agreed that, okay, well, yeah, we're going to do business different. And we won't ever put you in this kind of a bind, you know, again. You know, we've learned our lesson. And then as soon, right away, as soon as they had their money and uh, as soon as the world wasn't going to come to an end, uh, then they said, oh, there's too many regulations. Uh, we should be able to do this and do that. And then they did everything through, you know, through the Republicans in Congress to 
get the agency that was a set up, regulatory agency, they did everything in the world to uh, castrate it. Uh, you know, cut the staff. I think they cut down the. I don't. I forget. Ex- I don't know all the exact details exactly. We, we could look it up or. But if, you know, like let's say there was seven members of the agency. Uh, <laughs> let's say you need five members of the agency in order to make regulations or something or other. Well, they the the senate or whatever had to appoint these people. They had to be approved by the senate. The Senate just refused to, so that left like three people on the agency, and they can't make any, and then, of course, the Senate also then passed, to make sure, passed regulations saying, uh, you can't issue any new regulations, and any new regulations that you want to pass, you know, that you want to, you know, normally an agency would, you know, put the things out, like, this is what we intend to do, and give people a chance to whatever, but what the, uh, and then put the issue the regulations or whatever. What the Republicans in the Senate did was, uh, no, you can't put any regulations out. And if you do put any regulations out, if you issue any regulations, we have to look at it and we have to approve it. So it was, uh, you know, business as usual. So, but anyway, I'm sure that Assistance is going to be coming. Uh, I'm sure that Democrats and Republicans are under a lot of pressure. There's people who are, like I mentioned in one of my videos recently, a a guy that I followed his YouTube site. He left a comment on my site that he had just lost his job. He he was uh, manager of a bar and a restaurant in a hotel and the hotel's business just went nothing, you know. It was like they lost 95% of their, their – and so he was let go and all the whole bunch of other – everybody was probably just about let go. And that's just one. That just happened to be somebody that I followed on on YouTube. And I've, I've you seen, too, I'm sure, you know, news things and whatever. So there's people out there hurting, and I'm sure those people are contacting their congressmen and saying, please, please pass this this uh, this thing. I'm looking at here cops in the toilet paper aisles of grocery stores. I didn't click on the link to see, but by the way, we got an order in again today <laughs> for about $100. There was about, I think, seven substitutions on it, but Walmart, uh, the substitutions are always, you know, you, you come out ahead if they make a substitution. And I I looked to see if they had. We have enough toilet paper for a while. And I think by then the supply, you know, they, people should stop. Or probably by then we'll have, well, they're going to go on for a while because they, you know. And that is something. I am, I'm long, I, I understand that in a way. Well, I don't understand going in and, you know, fighting and emptying the shelves or whatever, but. Uh, toilet paper is something I want to. <laughs> I don't want to run out of, you know. None of us do. But um, so I looked when I uh, and I would have ordered a few rolls, but it, it wasn't even an option. And other things on there like Coke and other things. In fact, a bunch of. I'm not sure if everything was, but it was like the most you could order was like two. There, so there was a few items they didn't have, and then there was a I don't know seven or eleven or something like that that they made substitutions. And we were perfectly happy with the substitutions. And if you're thinking, well, that yeah, Jim, you just or, yeah, I did. We've ordered about three times in the last week, and that's because I signed up for the Walmart. You pay thirteen dollars a month. And delivery is free. Of course, I tip, you know, the uh, driver also. So, yeah, we did. I, I'm, I'm sure we're going to cut down on the ordering. But um, so let's I'm not sure. OK, I'm 
I'm back to one monitor in 4K mode. And thank God I got some room, especially since we got some food in. We got in, uh, I ordered in a few TV dinners, and then I ordered in three Caesar salads. And I had one of, they were, it was really, fr I just had one as soon as I, as soon as I delivered, I had one of those. And I've got two more in my little fridge, and I'm thinking about having another one. And I just got them, you know. And with, uh, with delivery, all you have to do is order $30 worth if you're signed up uh, with this uh, plan, $13 a month. Um, I, you know, I may order like once a week for sure and like order, well, they have other kinds of salads too, but you know, the order in some salads, finally get some, because I'm, I'm really lazy, you know, <laughs> um, I go in and we got bologna or sliced turkey or something in there and I, you know, two slices of bread, bologna, that's it. And we have plenty of stuff we could make. And uh, I, you know, so I think these salads would be better. And my <coughs> daughter, who's a vegetarian and I guess 90% vegan or whatever, she would be happy. Uh, here in, I'll probably make a video of it again. Today's the 23rd on the, my birthday, the 26th of this month. I also, that's every three months I have to send in the data over the device of my heart. And then I was thinking today for the first time, uh, I think though the battery is, because they, every three months that, that's one of the things that checks is the battery. Once a year, I actually go to the cardiologist's office. But I think there's a few years left, and it's been about nine years or ten, I think. This is a good battery. I asked the cardiologist, well, can I get a battery like that in my cell phone? And, of course, I was just sort of kidding. You know, I knew, you know, that, uh, but... Um, what would be bad now would be, see, because, well, when it gets to a certain level, the battery, they're going to know, and then they're going to have me, instead of doing it every three months, I'll do it maybe every month, and then it'll get down to every, you know, to two weeks, because they don't want to take out a battery that they don't want to open you up, because there is some risk. Uh, they don't want to, they you know, so now, of course, I don't want to be, uh, and I'm sure I'm sure I got time left, and I wouldn't want to be going in now with the crisis. By the way, I don't know if. Let's see. Where did I see that? I'm not sure. Oh, by the way, yeah. I do not need a new cell phone. This cell phone, I hardly ever use my cell phone. I never watch, I have no desire to, I have no desire to watch a movie on my cell phone or even a YouTube video or whatever, unless I'm at the doctor's office or, uh, let me pull this up so I can see what you can see here for a second. Um, you know, I have absolutely no desire to, you know, uh, but I do take my cell phone, every, you know, every place I go. In fact, if I go take the trash out to the trash containers, uh, I take my cell phone. Uh, one reason... I don't even know my own phone number. I do not know the, the house phone number here. Uh, I don't know, but I don't know anybody's phone number. It's all on my cell phone. And uh, if I went out and collapsed uh, without a cell phone, 
I wouldn't be able, you know, say I just went out and fell, which I have done. Uh, I wouldn't be able to, if I didn't have my cell phone, well, if I didn't have my cell phone, I'll be able to call. But, I mean, I don't know the, uh, I wouldn't be able to call and say to my grown son, could you come out and help me in or whatever, you know. Uh, or if I got, of course, if I got picked up by the ambulance and taken to the hospital, they have my data there. As long as I know my name and, you know, date of birth or whatever, uh, they could pull the information up. But, yeah. So, but anyway, I do not need a new cell phone. I've had this for several, a couple of years. And I really don't need it. But I've been looking at cell phones. And this Google Pixel 3A XL is about $400. I've been looking at a bunch of them. And this one is... You know, it's not waterproof, which I would like waterproof and some other things. But apparently for the middle, you know, for like under $500 or whatever, uh, people who are doing reviews of this, uh, uh, they say the camera is the best. Under $500, you know, it's not the best. It doesn't have waterproof protection, a uh, few other things. But the camera kicks ass. And I am, you know. And so I would like to have, I mean, the, the camera here, it's okay. But this, especially because of low light level and other things. So I think I'm probably going to start, going to put this on my list. And I think I'm going to buy it. I've been looking at uh, Android tablets. I've been looking at, thinking of an iPad, you know, the inexpensive iPad that's, what, $300 or whatever. I'd like to have, what's the other one, $800 or something? Now I'd like to have, I've never owned an Apple product. But uh, anyway, I think this is going to be on my list to get. So, um Let me refresh this. And stop the sound. I don't know. I've mentioned this before. You know, with the number of views I get, why am I making? But, you know, on the other hand, I've mentioned this. I enjoy making the videos. And I enjoy, you know, trying out different microphones and different cameras. And and I learn, you know, that's how, that's how I learn. I'm not somebody who is going to learn something by, you know, looking up in a book. I have to, you know, kind of try it myself. But what's really helping a lot, of course, is, you know, now I just go to YouTube and... Uh, do a search and there'll be people there telling me, you know, uh, what to do and how to do it. Oh, I am, uh, I think, pretty quick. I remember I, I told you that I own two Chrome boxes. I told you that story that I, years ago, I bought a brand new Chrome box. I used it probably less than eight hours. I, a couple of times I've hooked it up. And I didn't know that after five years or seven years or whatever, it's not after like five years that you've had it. It's at five years or whatever from the date that they manufacture it. You don't get any more updates. So I turned around. I bought another one and a, a new one. And it only has four. The, of course, the one I got, I put in the first one I got. I put in 16, or did I put in 8? can't remember now. I think 16, you know, gig of memory. <laughs> so maybe not. Maybe it was 8 because it came with 4. Well, of course, this new one that I got has 4 gigs of memory. And so I'm going to put in, uh, let's see, 2. Okay, I forgot again. It's on my wish list. I think it's going to be two 8 chips that take it to 16, I think. Oh, I forgot now. Is it two 4 chips they're going to take? I don't know. 
Anyway, I'm going to put more memory into it. Although I've hooked it up and it seems like it works fine with four. But I still want it. I know it's going to happen. I'm going to put it in there. And then put it on the shelf. Because I'm using Linux, Zorin here. And it's working fine for me in every, uh, every regard. Uh, I'm no longer a uh, Windows user. I would like to have this uh, because it's a Google phone. That's another reason I would like to have it. I use a lot of the Google, like we all do, I think. Uh. Okay, so what else? Um, I see so we ordered in food. Um, I um, one thing this phone I wish I wish it uh, <coughs> I would like to have although I would probably never use it a uh, pen S pen or whatever you know to uh, I don't draw I cannot draw I wish I could um, but, uh, the camera is the thing that I'm, and I'm sure I'm probably pretty quick off. I'll probably do a little review of the thing when I get it, but there are excellent reviews. I've looked at some of the reviews on YouTube. There are some fantastic reviews. That's something I need to set up is, I need to, well, I never even looked at, for, for all, all, since, since, computer started you know I've put things in my favorite list or whatever and I never go to the favorite list ever <laughs> all those things are there and I just never go there but it'd be nice if I could pull those things up and put them underneath my video here anyway um, oh I know yeah there is something I wanted to mention this is scary and apparently for the last 24 hours, or maybe just overnight, President Trump has started tweeting and telling people. I guess he did a tweet that was all in capital letters. The entire tweet was in capital letters to the effect of, you know, um, after 15 days, I think it was, I think it was that, after 15 days, well, I wonder if we can do a search. Uh, okay, I think this must be it. Yeah, here's uh, CNN. Which a Trump, <laughs> Trump itching to scale back social distancing after a 15-day period. Here's another thing. Trump says that the coronavirus cure cannot be worse than the what the regulations and the restrictions are being put on. Um, Trump says 15 days may be enough. Trump is tired of and it's you know hurting business and the stock market and maybe people going to his, you know, golf resorts or whatever. And I can't believe that uh, – well, let's pick one of these. Let's take the New York Times, which, of course, all Republicans hate. Uh, Trump says that the coronavirus cure cannot be worse than the problem itself. Well – I don't like the uh, New York Times either because I'm not going to subscribe to it and uh, apparently they don't want anybody to um, read it. So to hell with them. Let's go to um, uh, New York Daily News. I think it doesn't that have a bad reputation. Is that the one? I don't know the New York newspapers. Uh, Trump suggests 
15 days will be enough to stop the uh, coronavirus in all caps. Uh, President Trump Monday tweeted disturbing suggestions that much of America could return to normal after an initial 15-day period is done in just a few days and touted an unproven coronavirus treatment as a 100% cure. Ignoring all informed medical and scientific advice, the president retweeted a string of far-right-wing supporters proposing that America should soon get back to business as usual. He switched to all caps my God, and retweeted his own tweet apparently to underline his belief that there is a serious possibility the crisis will ease in days, not months, as experts say. And here's the tweet. If this doesn't send chills down your spine, I don't know. I don't know what would. Quote, we cannot let the cure be worse than the problem itself. We will make a decision as to which way we want to go. I, I'm not sure you'll be able to sleep after reading, you know, that. Of course, if you're, you know, unemployed, you know, sent home. and But we need a president that's, you know, responsible. Now, I'm not really sure it's his fault. I did see a thing on, uh, I think, CNN that in... Uh, what country was it? I think it was an African country. Maybe I can find it. Let's see. Well, it doesn't matter. That medication that he mentioned that uh, is used for um, oh, forget what he's used for. He suggested, you know, that well, that that that's going to be a cure. That's something we can do. That like the CDC doctors or whatever. Well, now we need to, you know, whatever. Well, uh, in some country, the uh, pharmacists over there were telling the uh, people, "Hey, the president of the United States, Donald Trump, said that this will work for you," and people were buying. Some of them overdosed on it. <laughs> uh, so, you, you, need, you know, I don't need to be careful what I say, really, you know. Uh, you know, 50 viewers or something, rather. And even then, I don't think anybody, you know, but I'm not the president of the United States or I'm not the governor or whatever. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you can sleep after that, this uh, tweet here. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.